veel koffie gedronken vandaag. Ja. Yeah. Oké, okay, we went to. There we go. Two box stores, right? And then. One, two. Ja. Yeah. store for a birthday. I'm not gonna mention because I don't know when I will upload this. Uh, I think these are your the small ones. ones. Yeah. Well, you did get this massive book. But this was the bookstore that had only like 5 euro new books, right? That's right. And that's the reason why I bought this one, because cooking books are only on shelves. Mm -hmm. They're expensive. Yes. And then you make one of two of the recipes and then you put it away. But this one is uh, about Casablanca. So it's Moroccan recipes? No? Sorry? Moroccan recipes, I think? Uh, yes, they are. Modern, traditional. But I, I was in Casablanca. Yeah, I remember that your mom had like a phase of buying a lot of tagines. Yes, yes, I went as a teacher to schools to, to look how, how they work in Morocco. On one day there was a, there was dinner mm -hmm. offered to us and they had a tagine. A big chicken. I was very impressed, so every time I see recipes with tagines I just yeah. buy the book. Do you still have tagine? Yes, one of two. They're really Vegetables. good at making them. Yes. Especially, I really like your lamb. Yes. You make a really good lamb. Yes. It's it's really and it's a nice book. It's nice yeah. color. Well, I at the same bookstore got a book called I will I think it's too far away for you to see, <laughs> but it's called Be Held by Tara She Nesbit. I don't know, maybe she is family of Es Nesbit. If yes, I, I saw Nesbit, so yeah, but it's not like Tara She is a very different name, but it's maybe says, it's her sister. I, I think it's a recent publication though. I mean, it looks like one of those hosts. Yeah. One of those historical fictions. 2020. So not her sister. Oh, no. <laughs> That's not possible, I think. I mean born 20 no. No, this was published in 2020. Okay. No, not born. No, I don't know no, if there's no. a three-year-old no. in this world. <laughs> <laughs> Who has published a book about Puritan society? Very gifted. <laughs> <laughs> It says, 10 years after the Mayflower pilgrims arrive on rocky, unfamiliar soil, Plymouth, Plymouth? Plymouth. Plymouth. is not the land its residents had imagined. Is, this, is, it, is it historical? Oh, definitely. It says, 10 years after the Mayflower pilgrims. Oh, okay. So, pilgrims, yes. that's very historical, right? Yes, so it's okay. Yeah, and I also bought it for the cover. Yeah. It's beautiful. Do really What's like that flower called? Is it a which this one? one? You're asking the wrong person. I okay. have absolutely no idea. Uh, beautiful flowers. It's beautiful flowers, yes. And because the women look like they could be witches, it's not a reason why I wanted this. Like secret pilgrim Puritan oh, okay. witches. <laughs> okay, it's all symbolic. Yeah, probably. And then we went to your favorite bookstore, which has a cat and a dog occasionally. Yes, of course. And a nice book seller and a, a nice, nice bookstore yes. to see. Absolutely. He has as well like newer English books, but he also has secondhand English and Dutch. And a lot of religion, I think as well, a lot of Buddhism he has in the store. Yes. And I know him for years, so. When yeah. I was a student, I also came to his first tour. Really? You've known yes. him that long? That long. I was about 20. 1920. Oh, in, I, in the 1920s, you were 20. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to make that joke. <laughs> no, it's, uh, I was 20. The bookstore where we went today is a in the same street as yeah. he has the bookstore uh, at that time. But he went away from mm -hmm. the city and went to another bookstore somewhere else. Mm -hmm. And he returned. It's so strange that I've only known about his bookstore when we moved here, of course. But I didn't know before. Yeah. I still have books. I bought in the time when I was 20 in his bookstore. He is a nice man. Very nice, and I really like his collection. He picks really great English secondhand books. Talking as well about social media, about how a girl made a TikTok in his store, and then suddenly a lot of young girls came to his store looking yeah, for English very books. Nice. <laughs> he has a good nose for what's wanted. What's popular, yes, yes, yes he does. Yeah. Yes. I think he could amp up his romance book selling, but I don't know if that is something that's on his radar. I mean, he's good with, I think, I saw a lot of fantasy, but I think with like the TikTokers, he could also definitely sell romance. He has a shop uh, near his own shop, mm -hmm. but it's not a shop, it's, it's a uh, story. It would be nice, but maybe it's impossible, if, if, if the bookstore, uh, he expanded the bookstore. Yeah. Yes. But he's on his own, so maybe it's too big. There was, a, in the storage, there was a 
What it's called in English? So when there's water coming from the ceiling. <gasps> no way. Yes. Leakage. Yes, leakage. It's very big damage. Oh, that is like just a few weeks a ago. A nightmare. Death and fire. Yes. Like one of the two evils. Yes. But do you want to show the books you've got? Yes, I've got uh, two. Um, I saw uh, Primo Levi. Yes. And maybe it's in Italian, uh, different pronounced. But he's telling about his life. It's an autobiography. But in a different way. It's like a Q&A that he answers himself. Yes, right? it's a it's a kind of uh, intern monologue mm -hmm. um, and, I, and I liked it. I want to borrow it from you. Yes. I really like the author. I think he is Jewish Ital Italian, right? Yes, he is Italian. Yeah. And But I like books uh, uh, from questions. There was a German writer, Max Frisch. Mm -hmm. He has a, a, a small book. I like small books also. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, sure it's called yeah. The Difficult Question. It was published in the paper mm -hmm. and uh, Max Fries uh, asked questions like, without an answer, do you like family? Is family important to you? Or did, did you ever have a friend you want to meet again? And do you have faith? You have to answer yourself that questions. Sometimes difficult to answer. It starts with its uh, uh, youth and it ends, of course, uh, with his writing. Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, we all know, he was in the... Uh, in World War II, yes. as a Jew, and he knows a, a lot about evil destruction of life. I think the Holocaust is a big theme as well. Probably. Yes, yeah. he, he learned us a, a lot about uh, the Holocaust, not in facts, what it means to people, and what it means to people even after the horror, yeah. so after uh, 45. Show it to the camera. Yes, of course. <laughs> it's in Dutch, not in Italian. No, another one. It's about a woman, I guess, because I saw it just briefly, but she's doing the same. She's writing little notes, she's writing letters to, to, to her father, to her sister, but also makes little poems during her walks. And she's, I guess, Italian. Alucanetti, I think he yeah. is, right? Yeah, he's yeah. Italian, right? Yes, it's, it's from Antonia, Antonia Pozzi, but Paolo, and he is connecting the, uh, the poems and the letters. Oh, he has for, edited it. Then. He's edited yeah. and he's making an, uh, uh, a chain for us in the stories. Yes. It's about her, of, it's about her life. Is it non-fiction then? His poems are, are poems non-fiction. It's <laughs> possible, I read, oh yes. um, Khalil Gibran. Do you know that the no. Lebanese author? But he wrote essays in verse, is what okay. it's called. So. It's all different, it's all a mixture. That's what I like because mm -hmm. it's not one line of uh, reading. Yeah. And because I'm also not one line in thinking. <laughs> <laughs> because I, I think this is about life. I don't, I don't like big books because they're telling a story from A to uh, Z. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's just one line, one one process, and I guess my mind is not working like that. No, it's going from there to there. Maybe it's it, it, it will take me a year to read it. Okay, I, I don't like the cover. <laughs> it, you got hardbacks. That is so you to only get hardbacks. Yes, of course. Okay, I got three books. Oh, I'm messing this up. So I got books, and I got a lot of cuddles from a cat. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, I'll save the most beautiful one for last. <laughs> okay. But I got one that I think I might need for a vlog. I'm not gonna say which vlog yet. But that is The Wishing Game by Meg Shaver. And I think this is magical realism. It's a debut author that's been quite successful. And this was on the pile of new books for five euros. So I could not do yeah. it because I knew I would have to buy it for the vlog. It would definitely be more expensive than five euros. That's basically just for the vlog. Ooh, and I do like this one because it's such a gorgeous edition. Yes. It's second hand, but it's The General in His Labyrinth by Gabriel Garcia Marquez. And I read A Hundred Years of Solitude. Really love that one. I was really intrigued by it. And this has like deckled edges, which yes. I feel like he bought. Of like a sort of cotton, is it? Yeah, it's like he sells a lot of books with deckled edges. I've noticed He's... that in his shop. Oh, is it? Yeah, because you got me a Jane Austen book from there as well, and that one also had deckled edges, and the Virginia Woolf book as well, the biographies. But this is a beautiful edition. I would also want to read Love in the Time of Cholera by him, but this is the one he has. And it's a nice picture. It is. I don't know if, it, if it's a painting. 
collection at Seacrom Plus. I think it's a painting. But I also really like how they did the title. Yes. Like this. I actually have no idea what it is about. It's one of his later ones because it's both after Love in the Time of Cholera and 100 Years of Solitude. I don't know, but I'll figure it out what it's about. <laughs> but I'm definitely intrigued to read is more. Is it prose or is it a biography? Oh. Yes. No, this must be just his magical realism, what he always does, right? Okay. Oh, it says transmuting historical truth into magical narrative. He shows us the liberator, the dreamer, fired by the vision of South America. The story is told in a framework of fantastic seven months voyage down the wide sea. Uh, I'm curious to see, but now the most beautiful book I got, and he, he had so many of these nice beautiful collection. classics. These are gorgeous. I had such a hard, hard time picking, but I decided I was only allowed one. <laughs> Otherwise I could have picked all of Jane Austen's ones because he had Jane Austen. He had Wuthering Heights as well, which I picked first. But I only I don't have the English edition of Frankenstein. It would be nice if you buy them all. <laughs> it would be. It would be nice if I had the kind of budget to just be like, here's 200 euros, I will yes. take them all. <laughs> but it's from Paper Mill Press. It has a very tiny font. But it's basically. Well, I like the space up yeah. above. Yeah, and you have a little space up above. That is nice. And the paper quality is great as well. It's not super thin. It's not like Bing Wing always has very thin. And paper. it's nice letters, like the Baskerville or something. I think so, yeah. Yes, with an initial uh, at each chapter. I think it's not bad, not really bad. No, no, no. no then it would have been way more expensive. Yeah. My, my loop. No, 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 no. It's really, it's really bad. Is it? Oh, it is. Yes. Oh, then, then so I'm, I'm going nice. back. <laughs> the one. It would look really nice. I agree. If you have all of these on the shelves, shelves, like, like the, like I have with the cloth bound classics. That's yeah. is, that's Bing Wing. Yeah. That's Bing Wing. Yes. And while I think they're a bit sturdier, um, the paper quality is not as good as this one. No. So I think I would actually prefer to have these, but I don't know. If their collection is as extensive as the Penguin ones is. Okay, so those are, I think, all the books we got, right? I think it's a good haul yes. for just visiting two bookshops. Yeah, thank you so much okay. for this bookish day. Yes, do, you want it is. do you want another cup of coffee? No coffee anymore. No, no, it's too late. Almost, it's almost. Almost four o'clock. So no more coffee. I will be us. sleeping at four o'clock then. I'm dead. You're not that old. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I mean, you when I take a cup of coffee now, I will be sleeping at 4 at night. <laughs> I thought you were saying I'm going to bed at 4 <laughs> Okay, well, thank you everyone for watching. I hope you had a good time with us. We had a good day, book shopping, talking about books. Type up. Doei! <laughs>